Cherry Blossom, and today I will be attempting the Clan Generator Challenge. I already have a fanfic clan world, but yeah. I generated a few clans that I didn't really like first, but then I found Petal Clan. Petal Clan is described as the frank and the funny. They are often described as the jokesters of the territory and sometimes forget to come to gatherings. They are also often seen accidentally wandering across territories and boundaries. So first off, we have Lavender Star, a blue classic tabby she-cat with long fur and gold eyes. She is the leader of Petal Clan. She is a carefree young new leader, She and very unqualified. She usually plays with kits and leaves the leading to her deputy. She lost her family very early in a forest fire that also killed the previous leader. She copes with the trauma by trying to hide it under smiles and laughs. I was having a little bit of trouble with the designs on her pelt as she's a tabby, and I've never really drawn tabbies before, but I ended up putting a spiral of lavender-looking fur around her legs. And then she was done. I really like her design, and I think the lavender was a good touch. Up next, we have the deputy, Blackstone, a black mackerel tabby tom with short fur and yellow eyes. You'll see that there are a lot of black cats in Petal Clan, despite being Petal Clan. Blackstone is a committed, brave cat who is usually quite grumpy and overworked. He has recently been extra stressed due to the dwindling number of cats and his mate, Spiderfur, and her expected kits. He feels that Lavender Star should work more, but he remembers the amazing deputy she was and how much she suffered, and continues to believe in her every day. You can see in the middle that I accidentally did my line art on the same layer as my sketch, but it was a quick and easy fix, and I think that it turned out pretty well in the end. So there's Blackstone, our overworked deputy. Now we have Snowleaf, the medicine cat, a short-haired white tom with copper eyes. He's a bossy and annoying cat. He mentored Basilpaw and was partially responsible for his death. More on that next time. He has come to be a little less arrogant, but still continues to make medicine den visits even worse. In this way, he copes with the deaths of his family. More on that later as well. His drawing was by far the easiest and fastest, as he is a plain white tom. That's it. Then we have Cormorant Tail, a short-haired black ta mackerel tabby she-cat with amber eyes. She's a bold, outgoing cat who usually runs into trouble during Leaf Bear when she sneaks into other clans' territory. She believes that because she has friends in other clans, she can take food from them any time, despite her friends' exasperated explanations. This mindset is somewhat rubbing off on Nightba her apprentice, in a bad way. She's my favorite design, even though at some point during the middle I put my inking layer on my sketch layer again, and I tried to fix it by erasing the sketch layer around the inking layer, but that did not work at all, so I had to redo the whole inking. Now we have Laurel Cloud, who I think will be an interesting character for this uh, book series. I don't actually know what's going to become yet, but we'll see. He is a short-haired white tom with gold eyes, aka the brother of Snowleaf. I tried to make the white more of a purple white to make it less just plain white. I think, and I think it turned out pretty well. Laurel Cloud is a lonely, angry Tom who believes that because life was not fair to him, it should not be fair to others. Both of his parents died in, of cold in Leaf Bear, along with his siblings except for Snowleaf, who deals with their deaths in a different way. So he has become bitter and selfish. Laurel Cloud despises Rookthroat as she survived the Leaf Bear when his family did not. And he insisted to be called Cloud after his mom. His whiteness made him quite easy as well. Now we have Starling Fang, a short-haired black mackerel tabby she-cat with yellow eyes. Another black cat. 
Sterling Fang is a sweet, caring she-cat whose only goal in life is to help her wife and daughter. Though she is worried about Comrade Tail's impact on Nightpaw, she trusts her daughter to make good decisions. She's also almost the only one who can get through the Laurel Cloud as they train as apprentices together. I looked at some images of starlings and I noticed a small light gray pattern on them. So I tried to incorporate that into Starling Fang's design. I think she turned out all right for a black cat. Then we have Gorse Cloud, a red mackerel pseudo tabby she cat with short fur and amber eyes. Gorse Cloud is a constantly worried she cat whose worries are only bearable because of her wife, Starling Fang. While she completes her warrior duties, she usually wanders off until the others find her. When they ask what happens, she said she doesn't remember. This is the one I struggled with the most, and I'm definitely going to have to make her look better because I really don't like it. And on to Rookthroat, one of the most boring cats here. Rookthroat is a black she-cat with short fur and gold eyes. Yet another black she-cat, but nothing really specifically interesting about her. Rookthroat, along with Laurel Cloud and Snowleaf, was a victim of the harsh leaf bear that took many cats' lives. Her brilliance was the only reason that some of them survived. However, Laurel Cloud still thinks that Rookthroat could have saved his family if only she had thought faster, so he refuses to talk to her or even look at her. In this way, she is mostly there because of Laurel Cloud. So we'll see where this goes. Her design is very simple, so simple and boring that I actually made it worse by trying to make it more interesting. Whoops. And now we can get into the fun part, the apprentices. Time Paw, a blue mackerel tabby she-cat with curly fur and copper eyes, and Night Paw, a short-haired white she-cat with a black and red ticked calico tail and ears and green eyes are the two only apprentices. For the story, I think Time Paw would be the first main character. Time Paw is a shy, stressed she-cat, daughter of Lavender Star. She feels like her siblings' deaths were her fault and she, like she has to grow up to do better than her mother. Her mentor is Blackstone. Night Paw is a carefree, eager she-cat frenemy to Time Paw. She is bullied at gatherings because her mothers found her on the edge of their territory and took her in. Because of Cormorant Tail, however, she has become a bit arrogant and selfish. Her mentor, obviously, is Cormorant Tail. Although the generator said that Time Paw was a mackerel tabby she cat, I decided to make her a normal tabby she cat so that I could get those signature vines wrapped around her legs. I think they turned out pretty well, do you? And now we have, of course, our queens, Slugleg and Spiderfur. Slugleg is a long-haired black she-cat with hazel eyes, great another black cat, and Spiderfur is also a black she-cat with long fur, but this time with copper eyes. Slugleg is an old queen who has had many litters. However, this will be her last, as her mate, Palebriar, was hit by a two-legged monster a few days before Slugleg entered the nursery. This devastated her, and she considers her coming kits as her last gift to him. All of her previous kits have either defected to being kitty pets or died. Spiderfur is a content, happy she-cat with a love for insects and animals. Her nursery friend, Slugleg, is concerned by this obsession and believes that it will get her killed. Spiderfur's expected kits are the only things keeping Blackstone strong, and she worries constantly that one day he will work himself out. Doing these black cats was super hard because I had almost no other colors to make into black. So this time I chose very ridiculously 
blue again, and pink. I'm not sure it turned out very well. And now we have the adorable alders, Coot Face and Hornet Pout. Coot Face is a short-haired black tom uh, with yellow eyes, and Hornet Pelt is a short-haired white she-cat with a black and red mackerel calico tabby tail and ears, and green eyes. I did not like the mackerel. I feel like there are way too many mackerel tabbies here, so I scrapped that, and I went with something different, so spruce it up. Spruce and spice. I don't know. Coot Face is a ratless... Coot Face is a ratless... Coot Face is a restless Tom who feels like he shouldn't be kept in a den all day. He wishes to be out in the world and is often caught sneaking out to hunt. The only reason he agrees to go back to the Elder's Den without a fight is because of his mate, Hornet Pelt, and his daughter, Gorse Cloud, who he is very proud of. Hornet Pelt is a sweet, gentle, kind-hearted she-cat who lost her eyes in a badger fight but right before retiring to the Elder's Den. In this battle, four of Slug Slugleg's children were lost, along with two warriors. Hornet Pelt often has to soothe Cootface when he is angry, and is the only thing that grounds him. I think this drawing turned out pretty well, though I think their positioning is a little bit off and the black was so annoying! And last, and certainly least, we have Plubnose, a black and red ticked torcel sea cat with short fur and green eyes. I'm not sure if I really did the tortoiseshell thing justice, but yeah, she was one of the fastest ones done. Plumnose is a plump, self-absorbed, narcissistic young she-cat who retired early due to apparent pains in her hind legs. She takes advantage of being an elder and, is, and often has apprentices search her for ticks and bring her fo fresh food and fresh bedding. She was finished so quickly that I had to slow it down like seven times. Just like that, the challenge was over. You know, only two weeks long. <laughs> Make sure to like this video. If it gets enough likes, then I'll do a part two. Also, check out this channel. This one, right here, right here. It's really great. And it makes cool videos like this. Okay, bye.